Hello everybody, I'm Godot Guru, and today we're gonna make the map for a zombie shooter in Godot. Okay, so this is the map I'm going to use for the game. Of course, you can find this linked in the description, and you can just download it right here. Then from the download, just grab the gas station folder and put it over in your game, and wait for it to import like this. When it's done, go over and create a new 3D scene, and I'm going to call it World. Then in the gas station folder, go to models and just take the gas station model and put it in the scene. And then go and reset the position in the transform. Then right click on it and make it local. Now in order to add collisions to a map like this, there are many ways. But before we even add collisions, we need to make sure that we actually know where are the borders of the map. And in order to know where they are, we need to know how far the player can see. Because we don't want the player to go over here and then just see a dead end like this. And the first step to actually know how far the player can see is to just add some kind of fog to the game. Which will also fit the atmosphere of the game. So we just click right here. And first of all we're going to make a sun. And then click again and we're going to create an environment. Now go over to the sun. And right here in the light, we're going to set the energy to 0.5. Then go over to the world environment. And in the environment, you don't really need to mess around with anything. We'll just disable the glow because in this case, we don't really need the glow. But you can also keep it if you want. And then go over to the fog and just enable it right here. Now for the fog, we're going to use pretty much the default settings. Apart from the density, which we're going to increase by a lot to 0.1. And now we can barely see anything. You can also make it a bit less than this, but I really like how this looks. Then let's go over into the color and also make it way dimmer like this. I found that this hex looks pretty good, so you can copy it if you want. And now it will look like this. And now if we go over to the end of the scene, we can see that just about here is where we start seeing the edge. So let's go over here. And right there, on this line of the grid, here we are going to set up the wall. So, let's go over and close the gas station right here. And just right click on the wall and create a new static body 3D like this. And we are going to call this borders. Then let's right click on it and add a collision shape, just like this. And the collision shape that we are going to use is right here. This is going to be a world boundary just like that. Now let's go over and take it from there. And in order to make it snap to the grid, we're going to press right here. And then from this little green square, we can go over and grab it to here. And this is about where we need it. It doesn't need to be in the middle or anything because it's an infinite wall. Then in order to see the actual rotation of the plane, we're going to go here and enable local space. And then just drag this z-axis and just rotate them like this until it's 90 degrees like that. And now you can see this little plane over like that. And this is going to be the entire world border over on this side. And before we even care about the walls, let's also just add the floor. So we just duplicate it. And then we're going to just go over and reset the transform completely. And now if we go over, you can see it's exactly in the floor level. And it faces up, so this is going to be the entire flow for this game. Of course, there are the sidewalks and everything right here, but we're going to touch them later. Then let's go over and duplicate this wall right here. Just take it and duplicate. Then let's go over to the other side and see how far we can see. And right here, this is pretty much the end, so let's go back a little. And right here. And now from this line, we're going to go up a little and then just drag the wall over to here, just like that. And when it's over on the line, we're going to just flip the direction like this to face the other way. And now it's fine. Then let's duplicate it again and rotate it to here. And then just take it back. And we're going to put it exactly there. This is just to make sure that the player can't actually go over here and be on the bushes and everything. We don't want him to touch that. 
and we don't need to put it in the middle or anything this is pretty good and then for the last boundary we're going to duplicate again and then just go out and as you can't actually see we're going to actually go here in the perspective and just disable the environment right here so in the editor we don't see the fog but in the game we can actually see the fog so now that we can see clearly we can also go right here into the top view and then see the whole game like this and then just move with the right mouse button then let's just take the wall and put it right there exactly before we touch the bushes and then just rotate it to face the right direction like this and now we'll say okay so the player can go over here and over there and over here and also here but he can get out of here so it's pretty bad and for this case we can't actually use an infinite wall like this because then he won't be able to go in this place so instead what we need to do is to just use a normal collision shape like we usually use so let's duplicate this one doesn't really matter and this is going to be right here let's change the shape to be a box instead then let's zoom in a little so we can actually see the things that we need to drag then let's move it over to this side right around there this is pretty good and then just drag this little dot over there and just put it roughly about here then let's zoom out a little and now we can just take this point and put it over right here make sure to not put it here because then you're going to have a gap and the player might somehow get through so just put it like this and even though here it looks fine if we go into the side view then you can see the collision shape is uh, pretty short so let's zoom in a little and just drag it up like this i think this height is pretty good and now we can get back to top view and just duplicate it and put it over on the other side too and now we have both of these sides and another part we also need to add is right here you also have a little problem like that so let's duplicate again and because this is going to be using a different shape we're going to right click on the shape and make it unique so we don't actually edit these two then let's take it over to about here and make it shorter on this axis then let's go and make it shorter on this axis too and then zoom in and then pull it over to the other wall like this it doesn't matter if they touch each other and then just go over and drag it to about there just like that then let's duplicate again and move it to the other side right here just like that and as you can see it doesn't quite reach the end so let's right click and make it unique too because this is going to be a different collision shape and then just make it a bit longer like that and that's it now let's say for a second again this is going to be called word like that and then after you save you can also just go over and completely close the borders because we don't really need them anymore and now that we finally have the borders then we can start to make the actual collision so let's get back to the normal view and just go over and we're going to start with this little part now as you can see there are all of the trees and this little sun which is actually outside of the borders and we're not going to add any collisions because they're not even accessible to the player so it doesn't really matter so the place that we're actually going to add collisions to is the actual gas station itself and we do it by just going over to every single mesh that we actually want to add collision to in this case it's going to be this little sidewalk then just click on it and it will open up this little panel and actually select it and the simplest way to just add collision to it is just clicking right here on mesh and then create collision shape and for this we are going to use a sibling and then for the collision type you have a couple of types the first one is a dry mesh which if we create then you can see just creates this little very accurate collision shape like this 
you can see this little uh, fuel pump just click on it and then do the same thing let's just add a collision and as you can see it's a really accurate collision for every single triangle in the actual mesh and another way you can do it is instead just get back and make uh, another collision shape and this is not going to be a dry mesh this is going to be a single convex like this you also have some other types but i really like this one and if we create it then you can see it's much simpler and it's not all that detailed but it's pretty good and i think this is enough for most things so i'm going to use this for every single mesh in the game so let's get back and select the sidewalk and i'll just delete the collision shape under it and as you can see the collision shape that we added to the fuel pump is this little yellow triangle like this and this is because it's not a child of some kind of static body so let's go up and right click on the gas station and change the type of it to a static body like this and now if we go back then you can see it's good now so let's again just press on the sidewalk and just add the collision shape like this really nice and as you can see it's really accurate and good enough for most things now even though the collision shape here looks pretty good if we click on this one and just try to add a collision shape then you can see it connects both of them because they actually have just one mesh shared between them and for this case we'll actually need to go back and instead just create the default dry mesh like this and it will be fine like that but again for most things you'll just want to use the single convex and now we'll actually go and add a collision to every single mesh in this game and i'll just time lapse it for you so you don't have to see me trying to do everything so uh, yeah let's get started And yeah, as you can see, I've got all of the collisions right here. And then I can also just go right there. And then as you can see, I have collisions on pretty much everything around here. Also on the shelves. Of course, not on every single snack like this, because that will be pretty unnecessary. And also right here, you can see on all of the big things, I did add them, but not on the small things. This is pretty much a key to how you do everything. And you might have saw that sometimes I couldn't really quite click on things. As you can see with this little one. Okay, finally. But you can also just get it from here. As you can see from this little uh, scene tab. Which is also pretty useful. And right there you can see. I didn't add it to things like this little uh, security camera and everything. But most of the actually important things are right there. And do have collisions. Even right here, you can see the entire thing does have collisions, apart from like the things and everything. By the way, as you can see, the door is pretty much closed. So let's click on it. And uh, let's also select the collision shape because we want to move both of them. And then just right here, you can disable the snap and then just rotate them on the actually right axis which is this one for some reason and then just like that you have an open door and you can actually get inside here if you want you can also do it to every single platform store if you want so just click and also take the collision shape and just rotate on the right axis like that and now we can also enter the toilet if you want so uh, yeah, good for you.
and maybe on this one we'll also just add some kind of collision so let's try to select it and as you can see it's actually this one and then just add the collision shape like that and now we also have collision shape on this little toilet and now that we actually have collisions on everything we can start making the actual game and this will be in the next episode so i hope you like this one and as always this is available for free on my discord so don't forget to like and subscribe and i see you next time goodbye